<laughs> I'll be dang if that didn't work. Yeah, I got the boys dropped off on time, as usual. We're gonna get to the house and see if Kai's ready to go yet. Hopefully she is. Um, she gets up really early, so I don't know why she's not ready, but anyway. Hopefully she can figure it out, and we'll go from there. All right, good morning. We got the boys dropped off on time. We got Kai dropped off almost on time. 7.54, I mean, wow, that, that was close. Four minutes late, so hopefully she can get through. Don't know, but it's personal best for this year. Um, not sure what we're doing today. It is Friday. I love Fridays. That means hopefully it's Rodolfo's night. Because, you know, I'm all about my Rodolfo's. And as far as what we're doing today, I'm not sure. Might be doing some plumbing on the faucet in the bathtub, the back shower. Because it seems to be leaking worse and worse and I'm pretty sure nobody wants to see the water bill go up any more than it already is with the pool and everything so yeah I might just be doing that today why not so stick around and we'll figure it out here in a little bit don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new to the channel be sure to subscribe click the notification bell Smash that like button down there. Leave some comments. Let me know what you think. And I will get back with you in just a few. Alright, as I've stated in my repair videos before, I'm not a professional. But, I have been fixing stuff since I was old enough to play with tools. Started out with tearing apart stuff because I was always curious how things worked and it just grew from there. Now I did this the other day well I say the other day like a month, two, three months ago and well I did this one fine, this side not so much. So I gotta take it back out because I missed one teensy weensy little problem. And I didn't line up the stop with the gasket. Why are you not coming out? There we go. Yeah, see the stock wasn't lined up with the gasket. So when you turn the hot water off, it just kept turning instead of coming out like it was supposed to. So I've got to try to retrieve all this stuff again. If I can. There we go. I think what has happened is my gasket's gotten down in there and shredded. Oh, it looks like he's in pretty good shape. But I'm not sure how to take it out of there with that spring in it. The seat in that spring is a mother. clean yeah see I don't know if you can even focus in on that clear enough no it's not focusing anyway it doesn't look like it's in horrible shape but I'm pretty sure I got some more of these 
So, better to use a new one since I got it out. And to go back with another old one. But, if I can't locate a new one, I'll have to go back with an old one. There we go. Yeah. New springs and seats. Maybe that won't turn you open. That would be convenient. Yes, I do. Hmm. One's Delta, one's Danko. Wonder which one I used last time. This is Danko repair kit for Delta, so. Uh, I forgot to do that. Hang on one second. Just a little word to the wise. Towel. Just throw that over your drain, especially a white towel. That way, if one of these, so I got a little spring, that little black thing, they're notoriously bad for dropping down. And that way, if you have a white towel down and they fall down in the tub, you can find them. And they don't go down the drain and to never be seen again. Because that sucks when that happens. So. These springs appear to be that thing. Close. It's close. These deltas seem to be flatter. Well, let's see what we got here. Don't you wish your knife was sharp like mine? <laughs> oh, it'll cut the crap out of you though. I was closing it one handed one day to be cool. I just closed it one handed, but I do it all the time, but I was doing it in front of some people and I was out of breath and I was trying to act all cool. Like, yeah, it ain't no big deal closing that knife. But man, I closed my finger in the blade. Like, when I was closing it, I had like my finger right there. See that? And I closed it like that. I almost cut the entire tip of my finger off. That hurt so bad. And I was like too embarrassed to ask for band-aids. It's funny. Afterwards. Not so much when it happened. But we should have a bigger screwdriver. Yeah, like that. Well, maybe, maybe not. Don't you hate it when you do something and then you forget how you did it to begin with? And so you have trouble redoing it? Me too. So somehow I managed to fish all this in there without dropping it all. I was using this bag to do it. I bet. That's what I use. <laughs> Whew, is my face turning red because I feel like I'm not breathing? 
you guys will let me know if it does, won't you? They thought just like me. So at this point, I'm trying to decide. Do I do the old, this old house and give you the how easy this is one pitch and voila, I'm done. Or do you really want to sit there and wait through the 10, 30 minutes that it takes me to do this? I'll figure it out in the editing stage. It never hurts to be ambidextrous either. a tool for this. I'm not going to stay in there without you with it. Hmm. Sorry for the false spot. I'm thinking. They were leaving some pressure off on my knee. Thinking outside of the box, let's try a tire pressure gauge. <laughs> I'll be daggone if that didn't work. Cheap little tire pressure gauge. I just pulled it out. Stuck the spring, the spring and the gasket on it, and I just pushed it in the hole and pulled it back, and it worked. <laughs> oh, that's too good. Uh, screw this old house.
I could just keep track of my tools, that would be awesome. You guys see where I put my screwdriver? Well, that makes two of us. Everyone. Good to carry two screwdrivers. Tire gauge. Big screwdriver. Another big screwdriver. Last headlamp. Put it there. Pull the towel. If all goes well, there's no water going to come out of this right here. And I'll be happy. If not, you guys holler. Well, so far so good. Hey, hey, hey. Mission accomplished. Finally. All right, so that wraps up this edition of, I don't know. How to fix your house. But it's not really a tutorial again. I didn't get in depth and I'm not breaking it down. If you really want to learn how to do this, do it the way I did it. You can go to your home store or go online. YouTube's a good resource, but personally, I like YouTube for entertainment purposes. Not so much to learn how to do stuff. Because anybody like me, I could post a tutorial on how to do this. I could also post you a tutorial on how to build a flux capacitor. Doesn't mean I know how, but I could sure make a lot of lights and things that make it look like I'm building a flux capacitor. I think Adam Savage has done that. So what I'm saying is when you're going to go learn how to do something, get a book that's been published and edited and is spelled correctly. And from somebody that actually has some experience and knows what they're talking about. That's how I learned to do this was through books. Of course, back in the day, my... Google was the library. But I mean, get home improvement books if you want to learn how to do this stuff. Don't trust just any jerk off on the internet or on YouTube. Like I said, it's here for entertainment purposes. I got excited. I got lucky. I learned something new so now I can post a life hack. But there's probably already one out there and I just didn't look for it. So we'll just see what we see. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you. I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Extra right now. Um, if you're watching this, I don't want to come off like I don't know what I'm doing. I have spent the past couple of decades as a mechanic and in construction. And most recently, the property manager of some rent houses. And so, getting lots of phone calls to go fix lots of things. I've picked up along the years through people I've worked with and people I've helped and people I've worked for. And some on my own on how to fix things. So it's not like I didn't know what I was going into here. So please, don't take your faucet off if you don't know what you're doing. And especially if you don't know how to turn your water off before you turn take a faucet off, just call a professional. Don't do anything stupid. And that's your PSA for the day.